Once upon a time, a student monk went to his master and said, Master, I can't live in this temple anymore. I want to leave this place and go to a peaceful and quiet monastery. The master monk asked, Why? What's wrong with this temple? Tell me what happened. So the student monk said, You see, master, everyone in this temple is toxic to me. There are so many monks who are just too much into politics, and there are some other monks who always talk negative stuff about me, about you, and others. And there are some who spend their whole day just doing nothing but gossiping. I don't think that I can practice my spiritual life in this temple. Please let me go to a peaceful and quiet monastery where there are no toxic people around me. The master monk listened attentively to the student and said, Okay, student, I will let you go. But before going, you have to do me a favor, one last favor. The student said, Of course, master, everything. Just tell me what I should do for you. So the master monk took a spoonful of water and gave it to the student monk. He told him that he must carry the spoonful of water around the monastery and bring it back to him without dropping a single drop of water. The master monk added, If you can do that, I will let you go to a peaceful monastery. Eager to complete this task so he could go to a peaceful monastery, the student monk took the spoonful of water and carried it around the monastery, fully focused and without spilling a single drop from it. After a few hours, the student monk came back to the master with a happy face and said, Master, master, I did it. I carried this spoonful of water all around the monastery without spilling a single drop from it. So now, please keep your promise and let me go to a peaceful monastery. The master monk smiled and said, Okay, my student, as promised, you are free to go. But before you go, just tell me one thing. While you were carrying the spoonful of water around the monastery, did you hear any of the monks talking about politics? Did you hear any of the monks gossiping about you, me, and other people? Did you hear any of the monks talking negative stuff? The student monk replied, No, master, I was fully focused on the spoon, and I didn't have any time to listen to all those noises. Just then, the master monk said, See, my student, if you are fully focused on your goal, and if you are fully focused on your purpose, all the other negative people and all the other negative words that you hear are nothing but just noises. You see, in life, no matter where you are and where you go, the more you focus on other people's behaviors, other people's words, other people's lives, you will always meet toxic people. You will always feel coming off your true path, your true goal. Just be focused on yourself. That doesn't mean that you should be selfish, but be focused on your goal, on your path, on your way, and all those negative people, all this chatter, will just become noise around you. So don't fear of listening to yourself and concentrating on your own life and ignore negative people around you. For also, these negative people have a good side to them, which maybe you just can't see or can't hear. And if you think of running away, then just remember, wherever you run to, there are bad people, and there are people who talk bad about you, and you always come across people that you don't like. If you're happy in one place, you will be happy everywhere. If you're unhappy in one place, there's not a place in the world which can make you happy. Focus on your life and yourself. This is the end of the motivational story. Thank you for joining me on this journey of embracing simplicity and finding the true essence of life. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more thought-provoking content and please share to one person you love the most. In last, I just want you to say climb higher, aim higher with a rise aspire.